Okay, quick talk about um, how this Della protein gibberellin system works for transcription factors. Um, it's on page 391 of your book, but it's not explained very well at all in your book. Um, so let's have a look at it. So we know that when um, a seed gets moist, um, that it will start to germinate and, and gibberellin will increase in the seed. Um, and what the gibberellin actually does is it increases the production of amylase, which is an enzyme in the aliurone layer, which is um, which we'll see in the next uh, segment. It, the job of the amylase is to mobilise some of the starch and uh, break it down to produce maltose and that is then used for the initial stages of seed growth um, before it produces leaves to make its own energy from the sunlight so it's very very important so you can see um, that if they add a lot of um, gibberellin to the seed uh, you'll get an increase in production of uh, mRNA which they can have a look at which codes for amylase so they know there's a link between gibberellin and the release of this mRNA which codes for amylase um, so something's going on that's controlling that gene um, that is then being uh, translated sorry transcribed um, into the mRNA for amylase so there's some kind of transcription factor at work Okay, if we look here, you can see uh, the overview of what's happening here. So if we start at the bottom, this is the seed, and uh, we've got moisture coming in, which causes the release of gibberellin. This is short for uh, gibberellic acid, I believe, or gibberellin. And um, we can see that this then initiates somewhere the transcription and translation process in the aliurone layer, which causes alpha amylase to be produced. This then will break down starch and produce sugar, which is used for growth in the plant. So it's a very, very important process for germination. Okay, we're interested in just the specific area here. So this is um, gibberellin coming into the uh, aliurone layer, coming into um, an area inside the nucleus where you've got uh, the DNA that codes for the amylase here. And we've got something going on with a repressor or a Della repressor here that is that is uh, restricting the trans uh, transcription of the gene for amylase um, and once that repressor is removed then we can end up with uh, amylase being produced starch being hydrolyzed and energy being available for the cell. So we have to work out what is going on that releases this repressor. And that's what we're going to have a look at now. Okay, so the Della protein is essentially a repressor molecule that binds to the transcription factor that is needed to encode or to allow um, RNA polymerase to, to bind to the promoter region and move along and copy, make an mRNA copy of our gibberellin 
responsive gene. So in this case, this gene is coding for amylase. In our example. So this transcription factor must be attached here in order for that process to be able to occur. Okay, But in a normal situation with no gibberellin, this Della protein binds to the transcription factor and it um, deactivates the, the gene. So it's, it's almost negatively regulated by the Della protein. So this gibberellin responsive gene that it's talking about here is the one that codes for amylase. Now, if we have gibberellin released in reaction to moisture hitting the seed, then we know that the transcription factor can bind. Okay, so something's going on with the gibberellin that's causing this. And it involves this protein that we can see here, GID1. And what GID1 is, is it's a receptor for gibberellin. So it's a small protein that's a, that's a receptor for gibberellin. When gibberellin, which we can see down here in the corner, the GA, binds with the uh, GID1, it changes the, the conformation of the GID1 and allows it to bind to DELA. So it's like another allosteric protein. It's got two different binding sites. When the GID1 binds to the DELA protein, it causes a series of steps which results in the breakdown of the DELA protein. Now, if that's broken down, it now cannot bind, bind with the transcription factor. and the gene is expressed. So the gibberellin binds to the GID1 receptor, which is a receptor protein. That changes its shape slightly, which allows it to bind with the DELA. This complex is much more easily recognized by um, the cellular machinery, which will break down the DELA protein. It's a protosome. It's like a machine that's, that, that's designed to break down proteins. Um, and it will degrade it and, and destroy it. And therefore, the transcription factor will be free. It won't be bound up like this. It will be free to bind to the promoter region, initiating the transcription of our amylase gene. So this is how that works.